Okay, so now that I'm sitting here shut out of luck, I decided to look into this bully monster a little further. And so I understand why that lady that I met out the one night was telling me to look into him because, I don't know, he was protesting at schools around the region in Westmoreland County. Why he came out here from California as a professional protester to start protesting, I don't really know. But he does have three children. And, yes, so he protested and I guess got into trouble and was really upset with his police officer. So he then, I guess, filmed a video of himself beating the fuck out of a car, one of a car he owned, and I guess pretending that it was the cop that he was hitting, but he was hitting his truck or his, this, this car that he owned. So I guess that got him in trouble, which like he said, he can beat the shit out of his car if he wants to, and I agree. You want to beat the shit out of your car? Beat the shit out of your car. A lot of men, um, some men like to beat shit up when they're mad. Um, however, I mean, I understand, like, that was me. Like, I got my kids taken forever because the judge stole my kids from me. And then after weeks of trauma and stress, I started tripping out on YouTube about everything that was being done to me and what this judge was doing. So, obviously, we've both paid prices for retaliating or expressing our um, grief and anger on YouTube. Um, but was it deserved? No, it wasn't. Um... But I'm still interested in this bully monster and how he ended up out here in Pennsylvania. And he's a, he goes around protesting all of these things. And I, he is some sort of cop or he does, he was, he would, wherever he worked in California, he would carry a gun. And I don't know. It's a lot to look into, but. Now he's been fucked and charged with wiretapping. And I'm like wondering, even though we're only one of the 11 states that have this wiretap law, I'm like kind of wondering, like, shouldn't he have maybe been aware of it? I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, obviously I wasn't. And I don't think that most people are aware of it. But I was just thinking of somebody who works in some type of law enforcement would maybe be aware of that law. But he's obviously not from this state, just like I'm not. I'm sure he highly regrets coming here, but as I do, but or to this county, but I'm wondering what his purpose was for coming here because I was looking at another one of his videos, something with PPG, and I know that's in Pittsburgh, and then he's talking about Massachusetts which is another stenocracy or whatever for me because I do have family in Massachusetts and Pittsburgh. So this guy is like all around and I don't know what originally brought him here, if it was for work, his family, or to be the bully monster. He has a bully monster book too. Um, but he came here and now he's charged with the same exact crime as me doing the exact same thing that I was with the wiretap. So he had already been in trouble for the whole protesting at the kid's school and then getting in trouble for protesting at this kid's school and then getting mad that he got in trouble for that and then beating the car. So, I mean, I guess I could eventually get mad at the cop who arrested me from the simple assault of Gino or I could get mad at Judy Petrush for helping my ex increase those charges on me from simple assault to strangulation. Or I could get mad at all these attorneys who did not help me and set up phony deals, including police officers, 
So that's why I do my videos. And that's why he smashed a car. And that's why I'm doing videos. So, but now he's been charged with wiretap. Same exact as me. And he's did like the exact same thing as I did. And went and posted it on his social media just like I did. Um... I don't know. I just find it all bizarre and interesting, and I would like to know more about him and why he's here for real and why he came to Pennsylvania as this professional protester slash some sort of cop. And he targets bullies, and he's targeting Westmoreland County as a bully, and they're huge bullies, I can tell you. And now he's charged with the same crime as I am. So I'll look into it more. He could just be... A nobody, just like they're saying I'm a nobody and deserve nothing, but I don't believe that, so we'll see where we get with this. I'm sick. I got to get better, and in the meantime, this is what I'll be doing.